Hello, artists. You've been asking for it, and it's finally happening. We are opening the paint studio. This video will give directions on how to use and share the studio so that everyone can be successful. In this studio, you can paint your own ideas. What do artists paint? Artists paint what they can see, feel, imagine, and remember. They even experiment with the materials. What media is in the painting studio? We will have a variety of paints available, such as tempera cakes, liquid tempera, watercolor, and inks. This video will focus on how to use the tempera cakes. In the future, we will watch videos about other kinds of paint. Basic supplies in this studio include paper, brushes, paint trays, water bowls, dog bowls with sponges, and we will explain what those are for, and a drying rack. Over the course of the year, some of the materials at the painting studio will be swapped out based on availability. How do you set up? First, plan your idea. Then, gather your materials. You will need paper, paint brushes, a bowl of water, these are located at the sink, tempera cakes, and a dog bowl with sponges. Select a seat at one of the painting tables. If there is not enough space available, let a teacher know and we will open up another painting table. Label your paper with your name and class code. Then flip your paper over to begin painting. It's best to write your name and class code in the corner so that if you make a mistake, you can still create on the back side and your name and class code will not be in the way. Painting basics. Double check that you have your name and class code. Then flip over your paper to begin. Some artists like to jump right in with paint, but others like to create a sketch before painting. Choose what's right for you. Choose a paintbrush. There is a large, medium, and small brush. Get your brush wet and tickle the paint color you want. You need to wake up the paint with water. When you see the color on your brush, begin painting on the paper. If you want to mix colors, wash your brush and tap off the extra water on the sponge. Then get your new color. You mix the color right on your paper. For big spaces, you can use a big brush. How do you clean up? Put your pencil away and check one last time that you have your name and class code on the back. It's that important. Use two hands to bring your art to the drying rack. When the shelf is full, you can pull down a new one. Return to the table, gather your brushes and water bowl, bring them to the sink. Dirty brushes go in the bucket between the sinks, rinse out your water bowl and put it in the dish dry rack. Get a cleaning cloth wet, squeeze it out so that you do not drip water all the way back to your table. This is a slip hazard. Wipe the table only where you see paint. You do not have to wash the whole table. Take the cloth back to the sink, rinse it out, and return it to the bucket. Lastly, return your temper cake tray to the painting supply table. Don't forget to return to your home base table. What are the rules? Share paint. You are an artist creating in a studio shared by every artist in our school. Paint only goes on paper. Never paint on yourself, your neighbor, or the tabletop. Take care of the materials. Use the materials correctly and gently so that you do not break or damage brushes, temper cakes, or other materials in the painting studio. Use caution at the sink. Turn on water slowly. Do not splash and play at the sink. Because we are working with wet media, spills and accidents happen. 
Please clean up any spills right away so that the studio space is clean and safe for others. For big spills, you can ask a teacher to help. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you create.